update two. It's a long weekend. I'm going to have a lot of time to work on things. Um, yesterday, I changed the cabinet a little bit. You see, I cut a hole. That's going to be for the coin door. I also cut an inch off total, half an inch off both sides to make that really tight fit in there. Um, you can kind of see from this angle, it's a little slanted. I got to fix uh, how the TV is being mounted, but that should be pretty minor. Also, I changed the button locations. You can see the double hole down here um, to make them fit better with my hands. They weren't at the correct spots. Now it's much better. Minor, minor differences to the cabinet. A lot of the work has been happening over here with the controller. So this is going to be my controller setup. I'm not using anything off the shelf. There's like the LED Wiz. There's the, uh, what do they call it? Ultra Packs. Basically, uh, key encoders. New inputs. There's relays, boards you can do to do that as well. I've decided to go my own route. Partially because the flexibility. Partially because it's fun. It's part of my hobby. Uh, here's the main control board. Everything's going to run off this Teensy. It's a Teensy 4. Uh, very fast, very capable. I don't want to have any issues running anything off of this. Um, and what this is going to do is it's going to branch out to various control boards that will ultimately do everything I need. Inputs, outputs, etc. Um, this first board up here is output to buttons. So this is going to light up these arcade style buttons. There's not that many of them. There's only a 7 port. This is a Darlington uh, transistor array right here. Um, and this is being directly fed from the Teensy's output. So I'm using five of those outputs. I only need five to drive various buttons I'm going to have around the board. Plug right in there. This one is my input. Um, this chip on here is this one, which is an MCP23017. It's basically an I2C 16-bit I.O. expander. So it only communicates through I2C. There's two, only two uh, wires going over. The other one's ground and power. Uh, and then that allows me to control these 16 various inputs from all my buttons. Flipper buttons, start buttons, exit buttons, um, various switches that I'll have, coin door switches, etc. Gives me 16. I think I'm only going to use 12, uh, which gives me some for room for expansion. This is that chip's little little brother. Uh, this only has eight inputs, same idea, except here it's going to be used as outputs. It's an I.O. expander. These are MOSFETs. This board isn't filled up. This will have eight in total, and another one of these right here. This chip, um, I forget what it's called, the buffer chip. It is a um, SN54HCT, and it's basically eight in, eight out. It converts the 3.3 voltage from the TNC to a 5 volt needed for the WS2812B pixels that I'm going to be using. Um, basically these things right here. These are strips. This is 144 different pixels. I don't know what you'd call them. LEDs. They're RGB LEDs. Basically these things but just in a strip. And uh, no, that's wrong. This board up here is for the strips, um, which I'm working on today. This strip is for these contactors, um, thus the MOSFETs. The MOSFETs used here are going to drive the 24 volts needed for these contactors, which is going to give me some of the force feedback I need for the bumpers and um, the flippers, etc. So this will be, um, this is the s c 8 port for turning these on and off. This will be running 24 volts directly. The current's not very high. I measured it yesterday. It's about 150 milliamps per contactor. It's very rare. There are multiples are going to be on, maybe for like bumpers or flippers. They'll be on at the same time. Um, so I don't have to worry about too much of contact. These aren't really going to get hot. They're not going to draw much. Um, and then this one is for the LEDs at WS2812B RGB LED strips. And um. This one is using this buffer chip to convert the 3.3 volts from the Teensy to 5 volts needed for the addressable LEDs. 
So this one is what I have to finish today. It'll have another ribbon cable coming over to it. And those ports are also directly taken from the Teensy. There's no IO expander for speed. This is the main controller. These two are done. This one needs to finish up with the MOSFETs soldered on. And then this one I'm gonna work up and test to make sure it's working with the Teensy. And then I'll solder, solder up all the connectors. I should get this done today. Plan is to mount it on these little things onto a board. Um, I did ribbon gables again. These things are nice, they pop right out. Um, so these are gonna have all the connectors, the wires. So if I need to take this board out, I can just pull off all the connectors, undo the ribbon cable, and just take this board off to work on it. Which means that it's easy to fix, easy to debug, um, etc. Which is why they're on their own separate boards. So these will all be screwed down. What else is there? I tested the contactors yesterday. I only have two. They worked fine. Um, I also tested this little port down here. Goes directly to TNC2. Um, and this is going to be for my plunger. So this is a linear potentiometer. Measures the resistance from zero um, to whatever voltage you put into it. This will probably have 3.3 volts. Uh, and this is what I'll use for my plunger, which I also got yesterday. That I'll have to try to 3D print something to fit this. This will be another I2C chip. I'm running out of room. Um, that I'm going to use for the nudge. It's just a little accelerometer on this chip that will communicate on the I2C bus along with everything else. And it will allow me to nudge the cabinet um, to move the ball. These are going to be used for 5 volts and ground to power the LEDs, because they're going to need their own high power power supply. Or uh, They use a lot of watts. I think that one alone is 43 watts. That one strip, I'll have at least four of those on there. So, I'm talking close to 200 watts just for those. Uh, way more than the TNC can provide, obviously. That will have its own power supply. Um, and these buttons over here is also a strange. Um, most of these arcade buttons is 12 volts. The actual launch button that I have is 6.3 volts so this is a voltage adjuster a buck converter it's going to take those 12 volts or down to 6.3 volts so one of these pins coming in will be the 6.3 the others I think are all 12 there might be a 5 volt in there as well but the good thing about this Darlington Trister right is it doesn't matter um, they can be different voltages. They're just sinking to ground. And that's it. That's my plan for today. If I get this done and wrapped up, I'll um, do a video of it actually in the cabinet working.